Here's Kane in the pipe, oh, and it's yeah. blocked! It's there rolling inside go. the five, Down, and it is up. going to be covered by the Saints for a touchdown! Oh, baby! September 25th, 2006. A Monday night the city of New Orleans will never forget. The Saints were finally home. It had been 638 days since the Saints played a true home game after the city was decimated by Hurricane Katrina. Their rocky 2005 campaign resulted in home games at San Antonio's Alamo Dome and a 3-13 record amid rumors the franchise would stay in Texas permanently. In came new head coach Sean Payton, free agent quarterback Drew Brees, and the number two pick in the draft, Reggie Bush. Suddenly the Saints had hope, hope the city of New Orleans could latch on to. Fast forward to week three, Monday night. The 2-0 Saints welcomed Mike Vick and the Atlanta Falcons, coincidentally the last team the Saints hosted in New Orleans back in 2004. The Superdome, rocking. Green Day and U2 doing the same. The house was at full bore before kickoff. We all know what happened next. Michael Kamen, who uh, has made a headline for missing six of his eight field goal attempts this year, is now back to just punting and kicking off. The former Saint Morton Anderson is here for most field goals. Look out! Right through! any better than it just happened for the New Orleans Saints. Everybody thought that the wave of emotion would come in with the Saints, and for those people who look to the New Orleans Saints as something that will uplift them, uplift this city, uplift the entire Gulf region, they just had it. This is first down, it's in the hands of Bush, it's in the hands of Jeffrey Henderson, the former LSU Tiger. carried the Saints to a 10-6 season in their first ever NFC Championship game appearance. More importantly, football was back in a city that needed it most. 